fixing couldn't open connection to server error is usually simple. In most cases the issue goes away on its own. If you're experiencing this problem on your Galaxy Note 10, this video should help. First, check for online connections. Some network connection issues are specific to a carrier. In our research we noticed that couldn't open connection to server issue is usually experienced by Samsung Galaxy users from a TNT. Try searching Google for the specific error or message that you're getting to see if other users share the same experience. If you belong to the same network, the problem is most likely a problem coming from your carrier. Make sure that you install any available carrier update and contact your network's technical support team if the issue continues. Next, reboot device. If the issue does not appear to be network related the first troubleshooting step that you want to do with your Galaxy Note 10 is to reboot it. Some minor odd connection issues are shaken off this way it's simple to do and does not require a lot of effort. Try restarting it normally first by pressing the power button to access the boot menu. Then select restart option and see if that works. Another way to restart the device is by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power key at the same time for 10 seconds or until the device's screen turns up. This simulates the effect of having disconnected the battery from the device. If this works this may unlock the device. Next, check signal strength. If nothing changes after a reboot, the next step for you is to ensure that problem is not caused by poor or weak signal. This is an important troubleshooting especially if you're traveling, you're new to a place or inside a structure. Your Galaxy Note 10 is merely having a hard time trying to connect to your carrier at this time. If the signal bars are weak or keeps disappearing, all you need to do is to wait until you're back to a good location. If you're on the move then simply wait until you reach your destination and see if the situation improves. Next, clear network settings. If the signal strength is consistent but issue still shows up, it's time to reset your Note 10's network configuration. Next, check the SIM. The error you encounter may have something to do with a defective SIM card. Try to ensure that you check if the SIM card works okay by removing and reinserting it. Make sure that you turn the phone off while you troubleshoot it. While you're at it make sure that you wipe the copper contacts of the card with clean soft cloth. If necessary replace the old SIM card with a new one. Most carriers will let you do the replacement for free in their store. Next, reset app preferences. Some apps and services may not work properly if a default system app is disabled. This can happen from time to time after a system update or if an app changes system setting without a user knowing. To ensure that all default apps are set to work normally make sure to reset app preferences. Next, refresh system cache. In some rare cases Android may encounter all sorts of problems following a major update. In most cases this is an indication that the system cache may be corrupted. Fortunately it's easy to correct the problem. What you can do in this case is to clear the system cache. If your problem occurred after a system update then make sure to refresh the system cache. Next, restart on safe mode. If your Galaxy Note 10 can't still seem to open a connection to server at this time your next move is to see if it's caused by a bad third-party app. This is done by restarting the device to safe mode. While your Note 10 runs on safe mode, no third-party apps can be launched. They'll be grayed out so if your Android can open a connection to the server or if the problem goes away while on safe mode this means that you have a bad third-party app problem. Lastly, return software to defaults. This is a bit extreme for this type of problem which may end up being a network issue after all. 
but factory reset may not be a bad idea if you experience other issues aside from the one we're talking about. Here, we won't recommend a factory reset if the only problem you're having is this particular issue only so feel free to skip this if you like. However, if you also suffer from other non-related problems like slow performance, viruses, malware or any other annoyances that you can't seem to shake off then go ahead with factory reset. If your case is that the phone is not booting up or it boots but settings menu is inaccessible this method can be helpful. First you need to boot the device to recovery mode. Once you successfully access recovery that's the time that you begin proper master reset procedure. It may take some tries for you before you can access recovery so be patient and simply try again. That's it we hope this video is helpful to you please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.